Shannon, what are we learning about right now? We're going to learn about one of my favorite blending techniques, which is cross hatching. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is cross hatching? So cross hatching is another way to blend. All right, so one way, very common way to blend is like a linear blend where you're just blending back and forth in one direction. So that's like very smooth, very consistent, and the blending is just one direction with the brush yep. back and forth. That's and what they do in like paint and sips all the time and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, super smooth. Okay. So what we're going to do today with blending is cross hatching. So cross hatching has more movement to it. It has like more texture to it, mm. and it feels like overall like more painterly mm. because yeah, you get a little bit more of those brush strokes. Mm. Um, it's a little bit uh, more has it has more movement to it, like I said. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Great. I'm ready. Let's All right, see cool. It. So I'm going to use the same colors I used here, but I'm going to use the cross hatch blending technique instead. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going for my sky first, I'm going to pick up that peachy color. And I like to use a lot of paint with this technique. So I'm going to pick up a lot of paint, and right away, I'm going to start to move my brush in different directions. What? Back and forth. Yeah, what? <laughs> Crazy. No way. Skies don't look like this. Skies don't look like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is I'm just I just want to show you guys like very intentionally like you can go up and down you can go diagonal right so when you start to understand that it doesn't really matter you just want to move in different directions you can just kind of go for it then you just go fast yeah. blah 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it sounds <laughs> paint like cross blah 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 cool. so yeah using lots of paint because blending the magic of blending is when the paint is both colors that you're trying to blend, it has to be wet, right? Mm -hmm. So the thicker it goes on, the longer time you have before it dries. Exactly, yeah. And it's just great to have lots of paint on there. That's where the smooth, the flow comes mm -hmm. in. And I'm gonna try and break up this like perfect, so uh -huh. definitely not perfect, but I'm gonna try and break up that horizontal line a little bit more. Cool. All right, let's go on to our next color. She was washing her brush real quick, <laughs> getting a new color. Going for red. I'm a little skeptical of where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta trust me. All right, so um, I like to, it's, it's a little much if you have too much paint on your brush at first, but I do want to get a lot of that other color on there. So I'm gonna kind of like spread it out at first, and then once the paint is starting to come off my brush, there's still a little bit of it, I'm gonna massage those two colors together. And the massaging is movement between both of the colors. So I'm actually like going back and forth between both the colors, repetition. Let's get even closer, Casey. <laughs> repetition. I'm using, notice how I'm using the body of my brush versus like the tip of my brush. Oh. See, that's not gonna do too much. If anything, it's just gonna kind of like push the paint away. That's huge, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the wide, flat part yes. of the brush, mm -hmm. lots of movement. So I do like to use a brush that has like a lot of body on it, which is like, this is the body of brush, that's the tip of the brush. Okay, so I did lose like a little bit of my red, right? So I'm gonna re-add it to the top. That feels pretty blended, I think. But I still want more of that red. So before I even move on to my third color, I'm gonna add more red. So she's making sure to get the red on the canvas before doing mm -hmm. the massaging back and forth between the red and the mm -hmm. peach. I have Two, I guess two blends here, yeah. I have the peach to the red, and then I have the red to the purple. So before I do the purple, I just want more red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like three sections right now. Peach, mm -hmm. the blending, and then the red by itself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Cool, and I'm still kind of like moving between the two. Looks good, you think? It helps to drink a lot of caffeine when you do this, and then you just move, move, move. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now what? I think I'm gonna go for the purple next. Purple! Yeah! Right, so, same thing. I'm gonna get really close to the red, wait till I get some of that paint off my brush. It's kind of like my brush is like still wet with purple, so I'm gonna use that to massage these two colors together. And Massages can look like this, right? I said that word out loud and I'm like, am I really massage? Yeah, yeah, massages are like back and forth, little crisscrossy, mm -hmm. light movement, unless you're like one of those people that needs some of those really deep tissue massages. 
<laughs> but if you did push hard, it would more likely mm -hmm. wipe away the paint. So there yeah. is a gentleness needed. Definitely, yeah. If you're pushing too hard, you're just gonna like scrape the paint off the canvas. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's still wet. Get some like vertical streaks in here. That feels cool. And part of what you're probably paying attention to is just that balance, is you were like, oh, I think I just need some more vertical right mm -hmm. here, right? Just mm -hmm. for the, the flow of the movement. Mm -hmm. It's easy to get like kind of stuck on like one motion. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, it's more fun and uh, more unique if you kind of just move your brush in all the different directions, right? So if I'm feeling like I have too much diagonal, maybe I kind of chop it up a little bit by getting some vertical streaks in here as mm -hmm. well. Choppy, that's a good way to think about this technique, is giving yourself lots of choppy movements. Yes. If you want to be like more um, clean with it, I don't know if that's the right word, maybe a new one will come to me, but you can also just go like down and mm -hmm. sideways as yep. well. That gives it like this kind of like cool like pixely type of technique uh -huh. that a lot of my students have um, used before. If you want to keep it like more uh, uniform. uniform. Yes, yep. exactly. Jing! <laughs> 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 so let's say I come down like too much with my purple, right? Like I did there. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> my life is over! <laughs> it's just pain. What do you do? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is like kind of like, you know, breached into the red space. So I'm going to take some pure red. Um, Mm -hmm. and bring it back in there and I'm gonna like kind of fix that space between the peach and the purple by putting more red in there. Yeah it's like making sure everybody has some of their own space like red mm -hmm. still needs some red space. Right so a lot of blending too is patience. <laughs> Give and take, push and pull as I like to say. Mm -hmm. You just gotta work with it as you go and it's okay if you're having a weird blending day. <laughs> just takes a little bit more push and pull. What do you think? Awesome. Fun. Yeah, it's cool just to see the difference of the two different paintings. Yeah, same colors, just different forms of blending.